This is an Investor Ideas exclusive podcast series with founder of Stock Analyst Guru, Richard Lazaro. Richard has years of an institutional equity experience as a stock analyst, portfolio manager, and stock trader. He's managed stock positions at hedge funds and other investment groups in New York. In this weekly podcast series, you will hear insight on learning how to trade based on support and resistance, market updates, and sector close-ups. For the full educational experience, you can check out StockAnalystGuru.com. Hi, it's Rich Lazaro coming to you from Stock Analyst Guru for Investor Ideas. Today is Monday, July 30th, 2018. As usual, we are reporting about res- support and resistance and trend of the overall market averages and the major market sector ETFs, which should, if you are connecting with this information, greatly help you to intelligently allocate capital to the stock market and stay in the right sectors at the right time. Let's review the exchanges. Today, the S&P was down 0.57% trying hard to hold 2800 The Dow Industrials were also down 0.56%, and the NASDAQ was down 1.4%. Surprisingly, the Russell, which was also down, but only 0.49%, kind of outperformed most of the sectors today, which I thought um, you know, was surprising because they are generally riskier stocks, just like the NASDAQ, but the NASDAQ was down about triple what the Russell was down. I think this might be somewhat related to the fact that maybe there's more retailers um, and other businesses like that in the Russell and less tech. So you know, which I guess outperformed the uh, general averages today as the as the retailers were up. Uh, but we'll cover the retailers in a moment. But up about a half a percent. So that was curious. But anyway. That's the point of doing this is to analyze what the sectors are doing and, and what they're telling you so that you can use that information to game your investments going forward. Crude was up $1.30 today or 1.9%, which uh, crude gapped up this morning pretty nicely and then ended up going sideways all day, exhibiting a little bit of resistance. And there is resistance right overhead. So I'm not confident that uh, crude can continue to move uh, up here off of support as it's been doing. But we shall see. If you own energy stocks, you want to keep that in mind and be a little bit wary. Interest rates were up 1.5 basis points today to 2.975%. Interestingly, interest rates gapped up a little bit higher this morning and then traded down today to support and then moved up off that support a little bit. So it looks like they're still evincing an uptrend here um, as we went throughout the day. This is important to keep in mind if you have interest rate sensitive stocks as we are getting close to 3% again. Sectors of note, the XLK or technology sector was down 1.6%. The SKYY or cloud computing sector was got hit for 2.6% with the biggest loss on the day for any sector. HACK, H-A-C-K, which is the cloud computing sector also got hit for 2.6% today. And the XSW or software, se- software sector got hit for 2.5% today. Again, folks, these are the sectors that were uh, the high flyers, really up a ton, huge multiples, very high valuations, and they are getting smashed. Hack has fallen to uh, an important level here. Needs to hold this level or we're going to see a lot more downside. The same goes for SKYY. Uh, Has fallen to an important level and uh, needs to exhibit some support right here. Otherwise, um, there's uh, not too much support below. Sectors of note on the upside include the XLE or the energy ETF, which was up 0.8% today on the backs of strong uh, price movement upward in crude. The XRT or retail sector in uh, ETF also did very well today, up 0.45%, and is trying hard to hold on to some support here. And the... Um, XLF, which was up more in the day, but only closed up uh, 0.07% or two, two ticks here, but still made a new high on last week's high, or over last week's high, but is showing a little bit of resistance in the charts. Still, it did not go down today, and in a tape like we've been having, it's still continuing to hold its uh, current uptrend, and it's still a sector that should be uh, considered in terms of... Uh, a place to invest capital on the long side to offset any short positions you might have out there. Let's include a few stocks of interest here. Um, Canada Goose, G-O-O-S. 
continues to fall over um, out of its recent range after the gap up that it, it had from a strong earnings report and is now holding at like the, the gap up low from its earnings report right on its right right it's right there so it really needs folks it really needs to hold if you bought this stock after earnings were announced it needs to hold this level right here otherwise we're going to see some downside in in goose so just keep that in mind if you're long that one let's comment about the ewc the canadian exchange while that was only up 0.1 percent today many of its uh biggest names were up very nicely up uh 0.4 percent um, 1.8%, uh, very impressive. Uh, the Canadian ex- exchange is, is continuing to act very well and outperform the U.S. Uh, indices at this time. RY, which is Royal Bank of Canada, did well today. Uh, CNQ, or Canadian National Re- Natural Resources, also up strong today. Well, but, you know, crude obviously did well. Um, what else are we talking about? ENB, well, also a um, an energy name, so... And BMO, which is a you know the bank up there, um, financial. So financials are doing well. So that also makes sense. Let's turn to some cannabis stocks. The HMMJ or Horizons Marijuana Life Sciences ETF continues to go down. It was only down 0.16 uh, points today, but it was about a percent and um, just continues to fall. So the, generally, the whatever's in the index is generally falling. Uh, doesn't mean every stock is, but um, the the, the, the trend is definitely to the downside. Uh, looking at some specific stocks at Afria, which is a APHQF here in the States, um, was up four cents today, but um, gapped up and then kind of went sideways to down for the day, exhibiting some resistance. It's right in resistance, actually, and should not be bought here unless it can kind of get over uh, 890, let's say. Um, otherwise, it's gonna. I think we've got more downside towards the eight dollar level. Uh, turning to ACBFF or, or Aurora, let's call it Aurora. Aurora is um, acting very badly; should be avoided right now. It's showing no signs of bottoming and going up. Um, what else can we turn to? Um, Kush, Kush um, again. No, no, just kind of sitting on support. Showing no preponderance to go up it was flat today, and uh, SMG, which is a bigger cap stock, down with the market 1.5 percent, and um, kind of busting through. Um, wow, it's at its uh, low for the year right here. It needs to hold this level and go up from here, otherwise traders will sell it with abandon. They do not want to own stocks hitting new lows. But um, if this level does hold, then we would teach you at Stock Analyst Guru that this is a reasonable support level. But there's a way to um, to enter it correctly, and there's a way not to. So um, that brings me to Stock Analyst Guru, though, folks. Um, just to reiterate what we said last week, we are holding a sweepstakes now. Anybody who signs up for the free curriculum that we have that talks about how to, to uh, value stocks and do something fundamental valuations and kind of just know what your stocks are valued at um, gets entered into the sweepstakes and by Labor Day we are we'll be picking five winners that can uh, buy um, a subscription to Stock Analyst Guru for you know some 93 to or 97 percent off to down to maybe almost 90 percent off it's huge or 85 whatever it's just huge discounts um, and the training is tremendous and it is guaranteed folks um, our discipline and structure are unmatched, very, very rational, and again, are guaranteed to be impenetrable. Let's just say that. Okay, let's, I'll just go out and level a limb and say they're impenetrable. So I can show you that, and we, we coach you every day, just like this. But on screen, we show you how to, how to get in, how to get out, how to manage stocks um, with precision. So we'd love to see some more people sign up for our free curriculum or consider... Getting Stock Analyst Guru, it's a, uh, a skill set that you'll use the rest of your lives. All right, I uh, hope you all are doing well. Good trading. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investments involve risk and possible loss of investments. 
to hear more podcasts, you can visit our audio page at investorideas.com forward slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcast on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and Google Play Music. To help you follow and track sectors, Investor Ideas has created stock directories of publicly traded stocks for investors to use as a research tool to start trading and investing. Visit www.investorideas.com forward slash membership to learn more about our stock directories and leading sectors.